guys, this is the IG Ranger, and today I'm gonna be making you guys your 16th Java tutorial. So first thing, let's go ahead and open up Eclipse. Um, there it is. I actually, actually already have mine open. So um, last tutorial, well, my last tutorial, I actually didn't make a tutorial. My last video was not a tutorial. It was actually just a video just to show you guys uh, who I am and um, kind of get uh, up and close and personal with. Uh, with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, that video but today um, we're gonna be putting together everything we have that we've been doing in all my tutorials and we're gonna be making a lucky sevens game And if you guys don't know what lucky seven games is uh, google it yeah you'll it'll tell you what it is so um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a game that um, the game is actually going to ask the user how much money does he have and it's going to take the money that he has and it then will tell the user you are broke after so many rolls of dice and then it will tell him you should have quit after uh, such and such number of rolls when you had money when you had this amount of money left and it sounds kind of complicated but um, once you guys see the actual diagram of the program, you guys get it. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to be action user for input. Let's click import our scanner. Import our scanner, and the next thing we need to import is we need to import our random generator because we're going to be uh, having a random generator generate uh, random numbers when we actually use um when we roll the dice for the user all right so there we go we have uh all our classes imported and now what we want to do is we want to uh actually instantiate or initialize our scanner and our random generator so let's go ahead and do scanner reader equals a new scanner and system dot in All right, there we go. So we just initialized our scanner. Um, the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and initialize our random generator. And to do that, what we need to do is um, I actually made a full tutorial on, on the random generator. So if you're not familiar with the random generator, uh, make sure you go back and watch my my uh, tutorial on the random generator. So what we need to do is we need random and random generator. So we're gonna have our random generator and it's going to equal a new random a new random alright there we go so we just initialized um, our scanner class and our generator class so now what we need to do is we need to uh, actually get our variables and we need to we need uh, probably about five int integer variables so the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and do int and I'm show you guys a little shortcut when you uh, have a list of variables and they're all going to be the same uh, type of variable. So let's go ahead and do int die one and die two. And these are going to be our dice, comma. And then on the next line, let's go ahead and do dollar. Let's do dollars. And then on the next line, let's do count. And keep in mind, all these are integers. This is all one line of code until we actually end the line of code. So uh, the next line is going to be a max dollars, comma, and then next one is going to be um, our count. Let's make it a uh, count at max, and let's go ahead and end it. So there we go. So we just brought in our, our integer variables that we need for our program, and there we go. So we had what uh, one, two, three, four, five, six variables that we need. So next thing we need to do is now we need to request or we need to request uh, input from the user. And to do that, I made a tutorial on this also. Let's go. Um, so go back and check all my tutorials out. This is your first time watching my Java videos. This will get you kind of up to date on what we're doing because I kind of broke down everything inside this program. But today we're just putting it all together. So now let's go ahead and do system dot n well system dot out dot print and inside these parentheses we want to say how much how much money 
do you have? And so we want to ask the user, how much money does he have? Or she, how much money do they have? Put a little space right there. All right. Um, so the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and make our let's make our dollars equal that next integer that the user is going to input. So to do that, we need to do reader. Well, we need to dollars because we want our dollars to equal that neck whatever that uh, the money or the amount of integers that the user enters. We want that to equal the dollars variable. So let's do dollars reader dot next and int semicolon alright so now what we just did is we just asked the user for how much money do they have and we set it to the, the dollars amount and now which is our integer variable up there so um, the next thing we need to do is now we need to uh, um, we need to actually make our variables equal um, the max dollars so we know how much money that the user has the user has uh, let's say the user has $150 so now we need that max dollars to equal what the dollars amount is. So to do that, we need to do max dollars equals dollars. All right, so we just set that max dollars to equal whatever the user inputs on that on that line right here. So the next thing we need to do is now we need to do our count at max we need to set this to zero because we wanted to start at zero and count up and let's make our count zero also alright so next thing now we need to do is we need to loop until all the money is gone from the user so if the user has hundred fifty dollars we need the the program to actually loop until the money is all gone to, until the money's all gone so to do that we need to do because what we're going to do is we want to tell the user when they should have stopped playing the game to walk away with money with money and that's the whole object of this whole lucky sevens basically we're telling the user what he should have did and what he did wrong that's the whole object of the program today so let's go ahead and uh, make our loop and the loop is going to be a while loop because we want it to loop while something is true so let's go ahead and do while parentheses and inside the parentheses is going to be our condition and our condition is going to be as long as the dollars is greater than zero as long as the dollars is greater than zero then we want the count to increase by one we want the, we want the count to increase by one which is the plus plus signs that is our increment of one which is going to add one every time to the count variable all right so now we need to do is we actually need to roll the dice and to roll the dice we're going to use the random generator to roll the dice for the user so let's go ahead and roll the dice let's go ahead and do and the roll the dice is going to be if so if um something is true then we want this to happen and if not which is else then we want this to happen so let's go ahead and do if Let's go ahead and do if die one is well we're gonna do if die one plus die two equals seven if die one plus die two equals seven then because it's lucky sevens because if you get seven you're lucky and if you get seven you win money or you win that round so if both when he, the user rolls the dice if both dice if both dice equals the seven then we want this to happen and what we want to happen is we want the dollars to increase by four so what we did is basically right here we did the dollars um, are going to equal we did the dollars are going to equal plus is going to equal well the dollars are going to equal dollars plus four so all we did is just add four to the amount of money that the user put in up here if they still have money so now we need to do is we need to do it else else all right and our else is going to be 
um, dollars minus one. So if the dice doesn't equal seven, then the loser, the the user is gonna lose a dollar from his money. So if the if the dollars doesn't equal uh one, or if the if the dice the both dice doesn't equal to the lucky seven, then the user is gonna lose a dollar. And if it does match, then the user is gonna gain um the user is going to gain a a uh, a plus four or four to that money. So let's see, we're getting a little area here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see, die. Okay, let's go ahead and initialize that variable. Make make the dice equal zero. Well, let's make. Well, actually, we don't need to do that because we're going to initialize it in our next line of code. So just leave everything like it is. So the next thing we need to do is now we need to actually um, have before the if statement we need to roll the dice and to roll the dice now what we're going to do is we're going to have our die one which is our dice one to equal um, the generator dot and it's going to be next int and inside that int we want this to be a six because that's the most you can get on a roll of dice is a six plus one all right, and basically what we're telling the generators, we're telling them that the dice is going to equal six through one, or one through six. So that's the maximum that the user can get. Is he can either get six or he can either get one, and that's the max. And our die two is going to be the same way, equals generator dot next int, and this is going to be six. Spell generator on. All right, and die two generator dot next int and six plus one, and that's going to be our next variable for the die two. So you see, each one, the most you can get on a row is six, and the less you can get is a one. So to get a perfect lucky seven, you have to roll a one on the first dice or a one on the second dice, and then after that on the second dice, you have to roll a seven. Well, you have to roll a six or a six. So to get lucky seven, a, you, the first dice has to be a one, and the second dice has to be a six, or vice versa. The dice two equals one, and the dice the dice one equals six. So either way, um, you have to get that, and it's going to generate it randomly to see what you rolled. So um, now we need to do is so now we're here. We have uh, if dice one plus dice two equals seven, then the dollars are going to increase by four. And if not, then the dollars are going to, and that's our else statement. If not, then the dollars are going to eat decrease by one. Um, and here we actually could have just did our increment. We could have just did uh, dollars minus minus, like that. But uh, just for just for just to be user friendly, we're just going to do um, equals minus one or minus equals one. All right. So now we need to do is let's go ahead and make if we need to um, tell the user or we need to tell the program to remember the new maximum or remember the new maximum number of dollars that the user has now because if the if the user wins that round then we need to program to actually recognize it and say hey your money in, is, has increased so you can roll more rounds and you have more money to actually win more money so to do that. Now we need to do is we need to do if well, what would I just type if dollars are less than or wait greater than yeah so if our dollars are greater I just gotta take a second uh, if dollars okay if dollars are greater than max dollars then we want this to happen and if the max dollars is greater what we want to happen is we want the the max dollars to equal whatever the dollar amount is. All right. So we want the max dollars to equal whatever equal whatever the dollars is. That way it can update and remember what the user max dollars is now after that after that roll he took. So after that roll we want the we want it to update and say hey, this is now the new maximum amount of dollars. Um just, just for instance, if he wins money or loses money, if he wins money, then we want the max dollars to update on how much money he has now after he won four dollars, 
or if he loses money the same way so now we need to do is let's go ahead and make our count because we need our count max to update too because we wanted to we don't need to count how many rows the user took until he was actually broke so let's do count 